Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. If this is your first time visiting me, I would like to thank you. While you are here, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. By taking this action, it will help me to grow. Also, take a moment to read my about page so that you can have some understanding of who I am. I will never copy another person's work, nor will I copy another person's title. I am authentically me. This work is a part of my bloodline. Thank you for visiting, and I pray that you will return. Please check out my other videos. All are welcome to share his or her story in the comment section below, because your story may be a helpmate to someone else. My channel is a no judgment zone place for healing in some sort of way. If my video does not resonate with you, please do not try to make it fit. For anyone else and everyone else that this message does make sense to, take from it what helps you on your journey towards happiness in every area of your life. Please check out my videos my other videos if you know what your placements are cross watchers you are welcome i am empress real 1584 the good witch let's begin healing together also i would like for you to subscribe like and share alberta capital a l b e r t a Butterfly, B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y. She is blood of my blood. Thank you. I have already done the cancer reading. I've done the Sagittarius and also Aquarius. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back if you have been here before. And to anyone else that's new, thank you. Let's see what sign we are going to do today. Let's see. Let's see what sign we are doing today. It took me a few moments to get started today. Let's see what sign are we doing today. Spirit guides, what sign should I do today? We have Scorpio. Once again, we have Scorpio. I feel like I just did Scorpio. We have Scorpio. Thank you for joining me. If you have been on my channel and watch my other videos, you know I always start off with my lover's oracle. All of my cards have been cleansed. I cleanse them after every reading. I also shuffle them, but I don't have a problem with pre-shuffling again, with shuffling again. I have pre-shuffled them. I know that some of the viewers like to watch the readers like myself shuffle, so I don't have a problem with doing it again. The reason why I pre-shuffle is because before I cleanse, I don't want the same message that was for another sign to appear in your reading. So once I know that I've done my job in cleansing and shuffling, Everything is back on track to the way it should be for the next reading. However, after I've done all of those things, if a card comes out that was similar or the same as the reading before you, then that's what it was meant to be.
I just saw all of the cards that I used that were used in the Sagittarius reading. Three cards. I saw the first, second, and also the bottom of the deck. Let's see what messages the spirit guides want you to hear at this present time. Spirit guides, this is for the sign of Scorpio. This is for the sign of Scorpio. What does my Scorpio, whether it be for a female or a male, need to hear and see? I always ask my spirit guides for two cards. However, today I have three. The first card. When you look at this card, what do you see? What do you feel? Look at the details in the card. Your third eye is opening for some of you. And for some of you, your third eye is already opened. Time. This card is time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Whatever you're doing, Scorpio, you're trying too hard. Give it time. The next card. This is a beautiful card. What do you see? When you look at this card, what are you feeling? Let me get a little closer. Freedom. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. There's nothing stopping you, Scorpio. The path is clear if you want it to be. Freedom. When you look at this card, what do you see? What are you feeling? Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads you. Go with the flow. Thank you for joining me. At the bottom of the deck, what do you feel? What do you see? Scorpio, you have a secret admirer. Someone has deep feelings for you, then they are letting on. Thank you for joining me today. This reading is for the sign of Scorpio. Cross watchers, you are welcome. Scorpio, you do have a secret admirer. You may know this person already. You may not. Scorpio, if you are in a relationship, Someone has a crush on you. If you are a single Scorpio, guess what? Someone has a crush on you. You have a secret admirer. to shuffle again. This is for the sign of Scorpio. I'm going to do a nine card spread. Spirit guys, 
What does my Scorpios need to hear at this present time? What message do you have for them? This is for the sign of Scorpio. This is for the sign of Scorpio. Okay. This is for the sign of Scorpio. This is for the sign of Scorpio. This is for the sign of Scorpio. To me. This is for the sign of Scorpio. What message do you have for the Scorpio? Whether it's a male or a female. What story do you have for them? What should I tell them? What do they need to know? I'm going to shuffle again. I'm being asked. Two more cards, please, Spirit. Two more cards. Two more cards. This is for the sign of Scorpio. I asked for two more. And I got four. At the bottom of the deck, we have good news. Scorpio, we have the number 54. You could be 54 years old or your partner. However, if you flip it and reverse it, we have the number 45. Scorpio, the card is routine routine you feel like your day-to-day -day tasks are a pattern you're bored plain and simple you're bored you feel like your life is routine you're a little rigid right now you're bored your daily tasks are a pattern they're very routine You're bored right now. We have courthouse, the number 23. You or your person could have been born on the 23rd. However, you will have some contracts to sign or you may have a very important decision to make. Balance is definitely needed right now. Balance balance is needed. I just got a message. Tax time. When filing your taxes, be very careful. Make sure you cross your T's and you dotted your I's. We have karmic cycle. 48. You or your person could be 48 years old. Something toxic. Your person could be toxic. There are many red flags here. This person triggers you in some way. But from this, lessons are being learned from this experience that you've had with this person. Expectations. We have the number 28, expectations. You're hoping to get out of this routine. You're, you're yearning to get out of this routine, this pattern that you've been in. It's the same, can I say S-H-I-T, but different day. You want something new. But you're being very patient about it. There have been a few D 
delays. However, you're taking your time to figure out what your next step is, what you want to do, because you're bored. The next card we have is Thief. Thief is the number 24. You could be 24 years old or your person. However, you could have been born on a 24 for your person. But we have Thief. You feel like you lost something. You feel like something is missing. Someone or something is missing from your life. Oh, wow. This person that you have been dealing with has been an energy vampire. Ah, your tired occupation. Scorpio, you could be a workaholic. Or you might be thinking about getting into a new endeavor. You don't mind working hard. I see that if you're about to start something new, it's going to take a lot of effort. And it's going to be physical, physical, physical work. It's going to be very physical. You might be thinking about starting your own business, self-employment. Scorpio, there's no gender in tarot. This card, however, is mature woman. If you're a male, you could be in touch with your feminine side. However, if you are the female here that I'm talking about, you are the mature woman. You're very wise, Scorpio, very wise. You help many, you are like a teacher to many. You're like a mentor. I see this card, mature woman is the number six. I see the number 19 ending, ending. You know, don't get scared when you see this card because when something ends, it's because something new is about to begin. However, there are some endings here. You're letting go of something. You're letting go. You're letting go of feeling like you've been in this routine situation. You're letting go of something. It's the end of a phase. You're letting go. This is the number 22. You could have been born on the 22nd or your person. However, an official person, an official person, someone that's dominant, someone that knows how to handle all of their obligations, someone that is in control. A person in uniform may be visiting you or you may be meeting them. I have the number 30, adjudication. Whatever your situation is, is over. A new cycle is about to begin. Adjudication, the conflict is over. Whatever you've been through, the conflict is over. You've made a decision. You made a decision. The scales are about to be balanced. High honor. Adjudication is number 30. High honor is number 25. High honor. Scorpio, you are a person with high honor. People respect you. They recognize you. They see the hard work you put in. You're a very positive person in the public's eye.
you are a person of high honor. At the bottom of the deck, we have good news. That's number seven. You will receive good news in a seven days. Seven days. This communication could come in by way of email, text. An important document is arriving. You may receive a phone call. Everything is going to work itself out for you. However, this routine that you have been in, this feeling like your life is boring, like you feel so bored because you feel like you keep doing the same thing over and over, that's coming to an end. A new phase is about to begin for you. The relationship, you felt like the person that you were with was a karmic. And guess what? They were there to teach you something. To teach you what you will put up with and what you will not. They're here to teach you lessons. But this person was toxic and not for you. You saw the red flags and you recognized them. They trigger something in you though. They trigger in you to release. And that's what you're doing, you're releasing. But don't forget, the card said, you have a secret admirer. Let's see. This is the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, this stayed down, didn't it? This secret in my era, I don't feel like they're so secret. I feel like you know this person already. This person is around you. I feel that way. I feel like you know who this person is. What does my Scorpio need to know? You're letting go of the past. You're letting go of this past person. You recognize that this person was toxic. Your relationship was toxic. It wasn't for you. However, someone new is around you. They are a secret admirer. This is too many cards. Spirit guys, what do my Scorpios need to know? They have let go. They have let go. What do they need to know? Who is the secret admirer? Who is the secret admirer? This is for the sign of Scorpio. This person is already around you. I think we have it. I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, this person is around you. They have feelings for you, but they're not going to come forward. They're going to wait for a sign from you. And your past person, they knew exactly what they were doing. If you wondered, they knew exactly what they were doing. At the bottom of the deck, we have the timing just wasn't right for us. That's what your past person wants you to know. They knew exactly what they were doing when they did what they did. The timing just wasn't right for the two of you. However, you have decided to let that person go. And guess what? You have a secret admirer. Someone new is coming and you're closing this cycle. It's done. It's gone. You're letting go. Sometimes that's exactly what we have to do to be able to move forward. 
Stork Beetle. I'm a little nosy, so I want to see what other messages I can pull from this to help you. Scorpio, you have an ending because you're about to have a brand new beginning. You closed off that chapter. Let's see what the message is for you, Scorpio. Let's see what this new beginning is. Spirit guys, that's too many. Spirit guys, my Scorpios have a new beginning. Can you give me a little information about their new beginning? Can you give me information about this new person? The secret admirer. They're waiting for a sign from Scorpio. What can I tell my Scorpios? What information? I'm going to take these. What information can I give my Scorpio spirit guys? Three more cards, please. What information can I give my Scorpios? About their new beginning, what information can I give them? The Scorpios are a water sign. They actually already know. They are very intuitive. They have special gifts, Scorpio. You have very special gifts. Let's see. I got this card in the Sagittarius reading last night. One of the cards that I hear on my desk. At the bottom of the deck, we have woman. Let's leave that right there. We have number two. The four-leaf clover. Scorpio, this is the Sagittarius card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. However, good luck and fortune are headed your way. Whatever your work is, whatever you do for work right now, or you deciding to start a new business, is going to be very successful. It's going to be very lucrative. You win, Scorpio. You win. This is a great opportunity that you have been thinking about. Put in the work, as you always do, Scorpio. You're not afraid of hard work. You have the four-leaf clover. This is the number 14, Fox. Fox, the number 14. You or your person could have been born on the 14th. However, Scorpio... This is your card. The fox is your card. There was someone sneaky around you. There were a lot of lies. They were very charming, but they were a fraud. A lot of manipulation. A lot of things were done in the dark. That's why you let this person go, Scorpio. You let them go. We have the heart. This is the number 24. The 24 may be an important number to you. However, this card is the seventh house. You will be having a new beginning with a lot of love, a lot of passion and romance. Someone has a crush on you, Scorpio. You ended that old relationship. You have a secret admirer. However, they're waiting for you to make the first move. I will wait for a sign from you. This relationship will be pleasurable. A lot of affection and love. This is a relationship that brings in a lot of fulfillment. We have the number 35, Anchor. 
Anchor yourself, Scorpio. Anchor. This relationship is safe. There will be a lot of stability, especially on your side. You are a grounded individual, Scorpio. Whether you're a male or a female, you're very grounded. Um, thank goodness you weren't stuck with the past. You're not stuck. You let it go. Scorpio, you are a stubborn person. Your past person was stubborn as well. But this new relationship is long-term. This is the Capricorn card. You could have dealt with a Capricorn. We have Whip, number 11, Whip. Sagittarius got this card on my last reading. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Check out my Sagittarius reading because this card was... In that reading as well. However, Scorpio, this is your card. Whip. Whip. There was a lot of pain and conflict in your last relationship. You don't want that again. There was a lot of anger. You want a redo in love. You want new love. There was a lot of tension with your past relationship. A lot of fights. It was something that was done over and over. In your last relationship, you felt like it was a routine. You were very bored, Scorpio, very bored. However, 11 days, you will know who this secret admirer is in, in 11 days. You will know. 26, book, book. This is the Pisces card, and as I like to call my Pisces, my fellow water sign, as the Scorpio and Cancer, Pisces is the mystical fish. Scorpio, right now, you're doing a lot of studying. You're learning something. You're learning something new about yourself, about your new business endeavor, but Scorpio... You are very knowledgeable. Even though you keep a lot of secrets, you don't like secrets being kept from you. You want nothing but facts and facts only. You're learning. This is the number 26. Your secret admirer, no secrets. There will be no secrets in that relationship in this new relationship at the bottom of the deck there's no gender interval however we have woman woman that's the number 29 and the sign for this card is taurus this secret admirer could to turn into your new spouse whether you're masculine, Scorpio, you are in touch with your feminine side. You are balanced. If you are my male Scorpio, you are balanced. You are in touch with your masculine and feminine side. However, this new relationship, this person will end up being your wife. If you are my female Scorpio, you are the woman right here. You are in touch with your feminine and your masculine side. And this person could be, possibly be, your future husband. However, there's no gender in Tarot. And if you are a female looking for another female, that person still could be your wife. If you are a male dealing with another male, that person could be your spouse, your significant other. But they are here for the long term, Scorpio. Scorpio, 
I am a little nosy. I do want to take a look and I would like to try to find out some information about who this new person is. They are around you. They are your secret admirer. They are around you. You know this person. However, they've thrown you some clues. They've thrown you some hints. But you weren't paying attention because you were wrapped up being bored. Bored. Thinking about the past. So they're waiting now for a sign from you to see what your next move will be. Let's get some information. Who is this new person? Excuse me. You hear my dogs in the background. I am an animal lover. I have a few dogs. Um, if you look at my shorts, you'll be able to see them in my shorts. But I have a few dogs. They are not outside dogs. They do live in my home. So you will hear them from time to time. I can't apologize for that because they are animals and they're going to do what animals do. Some animals are quiet and some are not. But if you would like to see what type of animals that I do have as far as my canines, I do have videos of them in my shorts. Scorpio, let's find out some information about this new person. Let's find out some information about this new person. I don't know if you can hear the change in my voice, but I'm smiling right now. And that's because of something that I see. However, Scorpio, let's see. Let's see. Let's see who this new person is. I got two cards came out. And I, Spirit Guys is telling me that's all I need. This person's Scorpio may be a Sagittarius. I just did the Sagittarius reading. Please check out my Sagittarius reading because the Scorpio card came up, the whip, and the Sagittarius reading. This new person, this secret admirer, this crush means you no harm, Scorpio. They mean you no harm. They have very real feelings for you. They want to be happy with you. Scorpio, they want to be happy with you. Scorpio, I'm going to close off this reading, but I would like to see what my Soul Truth deck would like for me to tell you in closing this reading. Please check out my Sagittarius reading. If your new person is not a Sagittarius, you may have Sagittarius in your chart. However, the readings are so similar. What message do you have for my Scorpio? What message do you have for Scorpio? What message do you have for Scorpio, my spirit guides? What message? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have, who can I serve today? Who can I serve today? In a world lacking soul to soul connection, small and simple acts are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. We shift our own pain and experiences. An avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. Who needs you today, Scorpio? Who needs you? Soul to soul. Today's soul action. Listen to your heart. Who needs you, Scorpio? Make one soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love, expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you serve others. Scorpio, that's what you do already. You love helping others and you expect nothing in return. Am I consistently showing up? 
Some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it. And even when it feels uncomfortable, it takes guts and endless vision to stay consistent to your dreams. Scorpio, stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused to your dreams. Today's soul action, journal where you can be more consistent in your life in alignment with your soulful goals, then show up. Scorpio, I'm not sure if you are the writing type. Purchase a journal. If you already have one and you haven't been writing in it in a while, Journal where you can be more consistent in your life in alignment with your soulful self. Remember, at the beginning of the reading, we saw that you were born, bored because you felt like your life was routine. Guess what? Things are about to change. You put an end to that. You put an end to that. And when you put an end to things, new things happen. New things happen. You're creating a new life. This time, you're being cautious. However, this new person wants to make you happy. Someone is your secret admirer, Scorpio. They are already around you. You know who this person is. The two of you have spoken already. You know who this person is. They've given you so many signs. Think back to the conversations that you had with another person. Think about the conversation and what they said to you. They threw you a lot of hints, but you didn't catch them because you were thinking about your past. And you were reflecting on the negative because you don't want to go there again. And trust me, you won't. You learned from that, Scorpio. That past life that you had, that toxic relationship is over. Something beautiful, something happy, something mystical, magic is about to show up in your life. You have a secret admirer and you know this person, Scorpio. But now, guess what? They're waiting for a sign from you. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you then they are letting on. Scorpio, you know this person. Whether you're a male, female. I wish you nothing but happiness, success in your new business endeavor. I wish you financial prosperity. I wish you loyalty. I wish you strength. Love and light.